Trust most high, my need you. Uh, sorry, I've been on a little hiatus for a little bit. Been changing of scenery for me and moved to my new place. Um, do check my channel regularly um, for uh, content. I will continue to post regularly again. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, do like, share, and subscribe. All right, so this uh, video is going to be on hair type and or hair texture okay so there's been a lot of debate and argument within the indigenous community of hair texture hair type bad hair good hair okay i'm gonna break this down in layman's terms where hopefully it'll end this you know ridiculous squabble over hair okay before the 20th century uh late 20th century okay so this is the late 1900s okay all of the hair textures were within reason the same now i know they use classifications of and i'm only going to use the classification for indigenous hair i am not going to mention anything about hybrid hair okay they have a uh, cuticle and a cortex they have two layers okay they have fur hair has three layers you have a cuticle a cortex and a medulla okay now 2a hair is what they consider wavy with an s type pattern to it 2b is uh also wavy but it, it sticks more down to your head with the waves okay and then there's like 2c which is like a mixture of the two with a throw in of 3a which is curly okay now that is those spiral curls okay then you have 3b again the threes are curls now uh, most people are good you know today have what is now considered overly curly hair, which would be considered 4A through 4C hair. Okay, all of the Indians had anywhere between 2A and 2B or 2C hair, which is straight wavy hair or wavy straight hair or wavy curly hair. Okay, now there were some tribes that had a mixture of three which was curly uh ani and Wea mostly has 2a 2b hair some have 2c hair uh but like i'll use myself for example i have 2a and 2b hair i have straight wavy and wavy straight hair i have my great grandmother's hair texture hair type okay majority of the ani and Wea, you know it as cherokee have my hair type, Rosa Parks, had 2A hair. She was Anya and Wea, Cherokee from Alabama. Same place my great-grandmother was from. Okay? The Virginia Indians, they have a mixture of 2B and 3A hair. That is wavy straight to curly hair. Chickahominy has 2A, 2B, and 3A to 3B hair textures. Okay? Now, further... Up you go. I'm using the proper perspective. Heat rises, cold falls, okay? In Florida, the Seminoles had a mixture of 2B through 4B hair. But, again, it was a mixture of the two. It was not just 4A to 4C. It was a mixture. So you would have 2B through 4C. It was a mixture of three. So you have wavy, straight wavy, curly to overly curly mixture in there. Okay. At one point in time, all of the tribes had long hair, regardless of the hair type. This is something that changed a long time ago. Even the men had long hair, regardless of the hair type. The hair still was worn long, grew out long, and wore in a braid or two braids. Depending, the hair was not worn out except for special occasions. Okay? I know most people will 
kind of be against what I am saying right now, but I speak the truth. I know a lot of people who were born, you know, in the early 1950s, you know, late 1950s through the 1960s, okay? And they went to school with people who and their classmates who are also indigenous had long wavy to straight wavy hair worn long either anywhere between the middle of their back or longer in a braid okay if you notice indigenous men with their hair cut you look at the pattern of the hair you can see the hair type is not the same versus when it grows out for a majority of the indigenous men today they did something to the hair. These vaccines did something to the hair that changed it somehow in its chemical structure. Okay. Now, yes, are there still indigenous people born with the quote unquote Indian hair? Yes, I am one of them. But there's a lot of women, indigenous women, who were born with the same hair type I have. Or what I have mentioned, 2A, 2B, to 3C, 3A, you know, all the way through that. Straight, wavy, wavy, curly hair, okay? When you put a relaxer in your hair, alkali is the main chemical in a relaxer, a perm. It burns the hair follicle. That is why if you get that relaxer on your skin, it will burn you. It is basically acid, Alkali, do look it up. Alkali, that is the active ingredient in a relaxer. So when you put that chemical in your hair, yes, it straightens it, but it's burning your hair follicle. That is why most people, after they do that, their hair is never the same. Now, yes, you can get it back, but it will take work for one to get their hair back once you burn your hair follicle with that chemical okay do not use those chemicals in your hair ever okay hair type has always been something that indians the real american indians held to a high standard was the hair if you look at the older pictures of the real indigenous american indians negroes You'll see the women and the men all had long hair in a braid or two braids. Okay, all of them. Because the tribe was one. So they all had the same hair type and or length in their tribe. So this unnecessary squabble over good hair versus bad hair at the end of the day all of the american indians have a hair grade that is better than a uh, so-called you know hamite now before y'all come at me about the ethiopian or the abyssinian yes they have a good hair type but it's still nothing like the american indians hair okay again when the women go and get braids, you and you let those Africans do your hair. They pull out your hair because they're doing it too tight. That pulls your hair out from the root. Okay? Don't let them do your hair. They will destroy your hair. They do it on purpose. And anyone who has had their hair braided by an African and they've had their hair broken out will tell you the very thing I just said. Okay? So don't argue with me on this. It is no point in it. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to hair. Okay. But when it comes down to it, hair is just hair. Regardless of its hair type and or texture. Before the hair was changed, it was still long with the women in the 1960s through the 1970s. Okay, before people started doing the little afros and all that stuff, that was something that was not done before then. Okay, before the late 60s, 70s, that was not something the American Indians did with their hair. 
Okay, I know people want to hold on to that, but at the end of the day, not all did that. Okay, I'm not saying none did it, but uh, there was uh, tribes that had locks in their hair. Okay, dreadlocks is what you want to call them, whatever. All tribes had different ways that they wore their hair. Okay, the ones that had more of the four A, you know, the the mixture of the the two A, three and four type hair most of the time they tend tended to wear their hair in locks okay nine times out of ten most of them did that so yes the locks is a, an american indian hair style that was a that is indigenous to the americas specifically to the carib indians or the arawak whatever you want to call them that's why it's so prevalent over there because that culture is still there when it comes to the hair, when it comes to those locks, both the men and the women. Okay? So, like I said, this video is a little bit different, but I wanted to mention the hair type. Okay? All the American Indians have always had beautiful hair. Okay? Yes, it changed in the last 50 years, unfortunately. It has because of the vaccines. They change the genetic structure within you and it also destroys and changes one's hair type. Okay? So all of the American Indians at one point, all especially in the so-called South, had long hair anywhere between the middle of their back or longer. There's people I've known, people that I've met who's known people who are fully indigenous that they hair so long it's it's to their knees or to the floor. The thumbnail I'm going to use for this video is a, a picture from the 1800s and she is a Cherokee princess. Anyone who has seen that image, she was a Cherokee princess, an onion weird princess. Her long, wavy, straight hair was so long it was literally down to the floor. Okay? That should tell you something about your heritage, your culture, your genetic structure, American Indian, tries most high.